Sunatul Rahman. Hello, my brothers and my sisters. Welcome. Welcome to today's episode of Simplified. And I welcome you. I greet you. I greet you in the most beloved, beautiful greeting. The green of the blessed. The green of the pious. The green of peace. The green of salam. May the peace and blessings of Almighty God be with you, guide you, and always and always show up for you. I mean, the Quran chapter that I just listened to is one of my favorite. It's called Surah to Rahman. It's right in the middle of the Quran, Quran chapter 55. This chapter is consisting of 78 verses. And this chapter, my brothers and my sisters, if you have not, please I urge you, go and read it. If you don't know how to read it in Arabic, you can read it in English. You can listen to it on YouTube. Surah to Rahman. It's a chapter that Allah was bragging. Bragging. He's reminding us of every good things he has given us. Recently, I went on a lovely family holiday, family vacation. And I'm going to give the shout out to the state of Virginia. We went to the Massanutten Resort in the state of Virginia. And I saw, and I'm going to ask my tech team to put some of the clips on the end of this video. But before I proceed, I'm going to say, please, simplifiers, we have a lot of work to do. If you have not yet subscribed to this um, channel, please go ahead and hit the red button now and subscribe. So that when we have new videos, I don't have to text you or email you or send you a reminder on WhatsApp. You just get the notification directly. And please, simplifiers, share the videos. I get so many feedbacks. But please, share the videos so other people can benefit from the lessons of Allah. And like and comment, please, for the sake of Allah. Thank you. Allah brags. Surah to Rahman. Rahman is the first name Allah called himself. If you read the first thing in the, the first chapter of the Quran, the opening chapter, Surah to Fatiha, it says, Awuz Bilam in Shaitan Rajim, Bismillah Rahman Rahim. The first thing Allah says is, Araman Arahim, the Maliki Yamidin. The first thing, the first word, the first sentence in the Holy Quran is the Rahman of Allah. That is his first name. That is the opening of the whole book. Now that name has, that word has the whole chapter to it. And Allah was bragging. Allah bragged about the sun, about the moon, about his creations, about the angels, about the heaven, about hell, about everything he created. But there is one sentence Allah keeps throwing in between every line, every chapter, every sentence, every verse, Allah throws it in. To Kazibani. Is there any other reward Astagafrullah? Which of the favor of your Lord will you deny? See, when he brags, then he reminds us to be grateful. The reason why I brought my vacation, the family vacation, to this is what I saw the magnificence of Allah. And, and, and I've prayed. In the past, and I always say, Allah, take me to the peak of your grace. See, Allah says, know me before you worship me. If you know your God before you worship him, nobody can lie to you about who your God is. 
create a clean relationship with your God. Create a very beautiful, untarnished line of communication between yourself and your God. Let him hear your voice constantly. Then in times of your in times when you don't need anything, let him know your voice. So that when you need something, your voice is not foreign to him. Let your gratitude fill his table before any request. I saw mountains. I went to Massanutten in the state of Virginia, United States of America. And this place, my tour guide told me it's the cradle of God. That's the definition of Massanutten, the cradle of God. I felt it. We drove two hours. No traffic, no go slow. Straight shot. And we were cuddled by mountains. Mountains, like sea of mountain. To your left, to your right, on the rear view mirror, and right ahead of you is all mountain. Endless mountain. Beautiful view. And God so good. Beautiful sky. Beautiful day. No rain. Oh, oh. And I said to him, God, I've been asking you. And I know I haven't even scratched the surface. If I have money, may Allah give me money. My dream, may God make my dream come true. Is to go to places that I've never been before. And see the wonders like I've never seen it before. And glorify God like I've never glorified him before. Mountains, mountains, different layers of mountains. And I ask my daughter, people can build hotels, houses on top of mountains? And when I, my daughter said, yes, mountain is like there's sand, there are trees. Oh my God, if you have not been there, if you live in America, please come to Massanutten. Go and see the wonder. If you live anywhere else in the world, Please put in your bucket list. Put it in the in your bucket list in your to do before you die. Visit that place and see the majestic of God. And God, please don't let that be the last one I see. I know that is just small amount of your grace. I want to see more. And, and you know, uh, um, somebody criticized me to a friend and said. What's wrong with her? Why does she always act like she's never seen this one before? If, 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 if you're in her car and she's driving, she'll be like, Oh, look at the sun. Oh, look at the moon. The thing that was meant to be a criticism for me, it was actually a compliment for real. And I pray everything your enemies mean to hurt you, may Allah use it to accelerate you to escalate you, to elevate you. For people that knows me, they know I'm a sucker for nature. I'm a humble servant of Allah. I glorify him every sight of his magnificence. When I see the sun on a daily basis, it's like I've seen the sun for the first time. When I see the moon, it's like I've never seen moon before. When I see the snow, it's like I've never seen the snow before. And, and that goes into my relationship too. Some people criticize me for it. I'll be like, why are you acting like a JJC? Like you've never seen snow before. It's because I don't take a lot for granted. And I wish you do the same. If I see you for the first time, the, the excitement of meeting you for the first time, when I see you the following week, it will be a repetition Oh, how are you? It's good to see you. That's me. I glorify everything my God makes. See, this is the thing. Allah, he doesn't see good or bad. He just sees a demonstration of his magnificence. So when there is snow, beautiful, and I'm fascinated. If you have never seen snow, 
for people that live in Africa or other parts of the world where there is snow, no snow, or people that live in the United States and they live in, like, let's say, Arizona. There's no snow in Arizona. They have a lot of sun. And people in Alaska, all they get is snow. So, and if you have never seen snow, I will urge you to travel to any country, any state in the time of snow, winter time. You will be fascinated. And what fascinates me most about snow is, you know what? It's cotton, cotton wool. You know, cotton wool has texture, right? Snow is lighter, very lighter than cotton wool and has no texture. It's just liquid water. And that little thing, when it drops, <laughs> it drops so peacefully. The magnificence of Allah, the wonders of Allah on display. But that little thing can destroy any building. No matter, it will bring the building down. It will collapse any mount. It will collapse any tall building, any infrastructure. Snow would demolish it. Snow, 100 years tree, will be brought down by the weight of snow. It fascinates me. My brothers and my sisters, the reason why I'm saying these things is, Surah to Rahman, Allah was bragging. Allah brags about everything he has done for us. And there is a statement he says, he throws it in between every, every other verse. Every verse, he throws it. And he says, Fabiani Allahi. Which of the favor of your Lord would you deny? If Allah is bragging about everything he has done for us, there is a reason for that. See, Allah doesn't see good or bad. Allah sees the demonstration, the display of his magnificence, right? Only you will let him know. Oh Allah, this make me happy. Thank you. Oh Allah, this make me sad. I don't like it. When somebody had a baby, we glorify God, we like it. But when somebody dies, we cry, we don't like it, right? When God gives you the sun and we take advantage of it because we see sun every day. And then we see the moonlight every night. And then we see the stars every night, right? We don't say nothing. Allah do these things. To get our attention. Glorify him. When you see the moon. When you see the stars. When you see the sun. When you see the snow. When you see the when you feel the breeze. When you see the beach. Everything. Glorify him. Because guess what? When you don't. He's going to get your attention. He's going to throw in some hurricane. And we don't like that. He's going to th throw in some thunderstorm. He's going to throw in some earthquakes and we don't like that because those are natural phenomenon. Those are catastrophic. Before he gets your attention, give it to him for free. If we don't want to Um I was listening to this um, lecture in on YouTube and the lecture was before we Oh, we were once kings, or once we were kings. And he was talking about this noble man, way after the prophet, prophets, way after the Sahabas. This noble man, by the name Harun Rashid, was talking to the clouds. And he said to the cloud, wait right there. Wait right there, I'm coming. And the class said to him, I will not take an, I don't take an order from you. I listen to Allah. And the man said to the clouds, if you don't listen to me, everything that you produce still come down to me. When you produce water, you know, clouds become rain. It comes down to me in form of rain, in form of water. If the, it rains on the, uh, uh, of the, the crops. I get to eat them. 
See, the reason why I'm bringing that to you is everything Allah created and simplifiers, we know that everything Allah created, Allah let us know that they're below all of us. He showed us the hierarchy when he created Adam, Adam and he asked all the angels to bow down to him. And all angels bow down because they know if Allah says this person is above us in hierarchy, in the chain of command, then he's above us. But Shaitan didn't bow and we know what happened right there. Go listen to previous episodes. We said that. The reason why I'm saying that is everything your God created is below you. Now, you know you can talk to the sun. Yes, you can. You know you can talk to the moon. Yes, you can. Now, sun, when was the last time you come out of your house and you see the sun and you say, Salam Alaikum? You don't do that? If you used to not do that, please make it a habit. You can try and do that. When you come out of your house and you see beautiful sun, Salam Alaikum, and go by your way. When you see moon, salam alaikum. When it's snowing, glorify God. Do you know that when you uh, have the habit of talking to the sun like that, any day that there is no sun and you step out, you can ask, Mr. Sun, where are you? And then, believe me, inshallah, sun will come out. Make it a habit. Allah already says everything he created is, is ours. Why don't you communicate with them? Glorify Allah. Don't wait for a catastrophe to happen before you communicate with your God. Don't wait to need something. Then that means you are a user. Don't be a user. Be a humble servant. Thank God before God gets your attention. Look at what happened with coronavirus. Allah used it to reset the, the humanity and everybody get close to him. Don't wait for a natural phenomenon to happen. Don't wait for a disaster to strike before you pay attention to Allah. Which of the favor of your Lord will you deny? And in other thing, my brothers, in other thing, my sisters, in in Toward the end, I think it was Grand Chapter of Verse Araman, verse 68. Allah says, Ali Jazal Linzani, Ila Linzani. Is there any other reward for good other than good? And that can be translated into different places. It can be translated as, If you're good to your neighbor, you get goodness back. But it can also be translated to, Everything I did for you. How would you repay me? Do you repay me by saying thank you, alhamdulillah, or you repay me by ignoring me? Allah is calling you, pay attention to your God before he calls your attention. Give him your attention before he demands for it. Because if you demand it, it's gonna hurt. But if you give it for free, it's gonna feel good. It's gonna feel good. Remember when you see the sun, say salam alaikum. When you see the moon, say salam alaikum. So next time the sun doesn't come out, you can ask the sun, where are you today? Come and pay us a visit and the sun will come out, inshallah. Everything I said today that is good, all glory and adoration be unto Almighty Allah, the King of all things, the Lord of all lords, the Immaculate, and everything that I said that is incorrect. Oh Allah, forgive me. I'm just your perfect imperfection. My beloved simplifiers, I love you. I love you. But no matter how much I love you, God loves you more. And I know that you love me. But no matter how much you love me, He will always love me more. Until next time, keep it simple, stay close to God. I remember to thank him before he asks you to thank him. Until next time, keep it simple. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuhu. As long, make me strong. Sometimes it just gets too much. I feel that I've lost touch. I know that wrong is long. Make me 
Tell me out of love 